Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me for Marketing Monday. I am Lynn Weinman, founder of Kid Glove, and today I have a message for both for-profit and non-profit leaders um, where I'm going to share information on communicating your purpose statement. And if you're going to be successful, at really integrating your purpose into your marketing, branding, and culture, um, there is one key audience that you have to really pay a lot of attention to. And I know I don't know exactly what your business is, but I do know that this audience is key, and that audience is your team. Because if your employees don't eat, sleep, and breathe your purpose, much less if they don't believe or know your purpose while they're at work, then it's going to be very, very difficult to effectively leverage your purpose statement externally and to get other audiences to really buy in and understand as well. So I'm going to share five proven ideas to build involvement and convert your team into an army of advocates. How about that? Who doesn't want an army of advocates? So let's start with this. Uh, have any of you ever heard that adage? Tell them what you're gonna tell them, then tell them, then tell them what you told them. Thank you, Mrs. Hatch, my high school speech teacher. Here's what I'm gonna tell you. The five secrets, five proven ways are engage, brand, place, celebrate, and repeat. There we go. But don't turn off yet. Here's more. So the first thing, uh, the first proven way to involve your employees is to engage them. Engage them in either defining or refining that purpose statement. The best way for them to really get involved and to really internalize that purpose is to be involved on the ground floor. So if you're a small company and you can get everybody into a conference room and sit down and discuss it, that is really an awesome way to go. If you're a larger organization and not everybody can, can file into a conference room, think about either a series of small group discussions or a full employee survey to gather input. Um, you as the leader, whether you're the marketing leader, the executive director, the president, wherever you are, you as the leader of those conversations is, are going to come in with some preparation, a general idea, a discussion guide, but you're going to let that group provide input to discuss, add, and refine. Now, I am a big believer on gathering group input versus group editing. At the end of the day, you wanna collect the input from the different voices, and you wanna give that to one individual or a small group of individuals for the final editing or writing. Now, if you already have your purpose statement fully defined, but you don't have the employee engagement that you want, I would say you could still, you could still participate in this step but what you're going to do is you're going to bring that group together or you're going to do your online surveys and you're going to gather input on the existing statement from a standpoint of refinement, from a standpoint of gathering examples for how you're exhibiting that purpose and gathering ideas for how you could further lean into that purpose. The second proven way to get your employees involved in your purpose statement is to brand that purpose statement in a short and memorable way. And yes, no surprise that I, a self-proclaimed brand uh, evangelist, would be saying you should brand the straight statement, but you should. Because if your purpose statement is more than one sentence, or it's filled with jargon, or if you just simply can't uh, restate it easily or with excitement, then you will benefit from this important step that will really make it stand out. So for example, many of you know that at Kid Glove, our purpose is to provide advertising, branding, and marketing services for organizations, businesses, and causes that make the world a better place. Um, 
when we had a very talented writer come back and say, oh, our purpose statement should be, we're the people helping the people who change the world, that gave us a chance to go, yeah, that is easy to remember, it's fun to say, it's great to celebrate. So you can still keep your longer form purpose statement for internal meetings, for leadership meetings, for committee meetings, but come up with that small variation. As a matter of fact, over the past year, we've even started uh, saying a shorter version of our Kid Glove purpose statement, and that's we put the megaphone in front of those who are doing good, which we literally do in our Agency for Change podcast. Um, and using podcasts for marketing will be a topic for another future Marketing Monday. The third proven idea to involve your employees in your purpose statement is to place that purpose statement in your environment. So people are interacting with it all the time. Think about where you can place the statement internally in common spaces, posters, big one, signage, wall graphics. Um, I even went to an office once where they had words from their purpose statements on pillows on the sofas in the break rooms. I thought that was brilliant. Think about employee items, swag we like to call it, right? Everybody loves swag. T-shirts, screensavers, laptop cases or skins, bookmarks, office items, pins, mugs, um, all kinds of things that you can put that purpose statement on. I recently received a candle, a beautiful candle, that had a company's purpose statement on, which I thought was very, very clever. Um, externally, think about your uh, website, think about your social media, great places to restate and place that purpose statement in a prominent way. Uh, one of my favorite authors, Patrick Lencioni, in the book, The Four Obsessions of an Extraordinary Executive, will actually tell you not to do a poster of your core values of your purpose or your purpose statement. I won't take it that far. I think a poster is just fine as long as you don't stop there. Um, if you are planning to write your purpose statement, send it to an email and expect everyone to be engaged. We all know that's not going to happen, right? Same thing, one poster, not going to make it happen. Place it in multiple different places throughout your organization. The fourth proven way to involve your employees in your purpose statement is to celebrate it happening. Who doesn't love a great celebration, right? And it's so powerful to catch someone in the act of performing or supporting your purpose. So. Look for both public opportunities and private opportunities to reinforce someone supporting your purpose. As a leader, you might even set a goal for yourself or a system for yourself in how you're gonna do this. At Kid Glove, uh, we like to give each other buttons and this button says, you are changing the world. And uh, we have others that, that support our purpose and our brand, but. I, as a leader, have a goal for myself on how many of these buttons I'm gonna give quietly um, or sometimes in private to help reinforce people living our purpose. Once again, it goes way beyond sending a memo or an email. You really wanna make that purpose um, fun. You wanna make it really fun. So here's some other ideas that I've seen. I've seen people create awards programs that reinforce their purpose. I've also seen people pull it into both their hiring practices and their annual reviews. So make sure you're celebrating and observing that purpose in action. Then the last idea I'm gonna share with you is repeat, right? Leveraging your purpose statement is not a one and done. You need to just make sure it's part of the fabric of your culture and top of mind for your employees at all times. Uh, sharing that purpose in different ways, you know, so that you are optimizing for audio learners or visual learners or kinesthetic learners. We at Kid Glove like to talk about the seven time rule. There's science that says people have to engage with your message seven times in order for it to be effective. So think about that. How, what are the seven ways or the seven times that you have communicated 
communicated your purpose statement to your employees. Here's another adage. About the time that you as a leader are getting sick of that purpose statement, that is about the time that your employees are really internalizing it. So keep going, keep sharing, keep finding new and interesting ways um, so that you can leverage and build that purpose statement internally. So as I said, here's a reminder of what we just talked about. The five key steps to involving your employees in your purpose statement. Engage, brand, place, celebrate, and repeat. Engage your employees. Let them help you define and refine it. Brand it so it's easy to remember, catchy, and fun to communicate. Place it throughout your organization in a variety of different ways. Celebrate and observe when it's in action. And then keep repeating it. Keep making it part of the fabric of who you are. So thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining me today for Marketing Monday. If you found this to be helpful, this content will be posted on kidglove.com as a blog post later this week and the video will be reposted on all of our social media channels and if you are looking for additional marketing resources including helpful blog posts case studies podcast episodes from change makers and thought leaders check out kidglove.com and go to the expertise section and you can find content that has been specifically curated for the type of organization you are and particularly if you are a purpose-driven business, nonprofit organization, financial or healthcare organization, or if you're leading a community wellness or health uh, initiative, you'll find some good information there. So check back every week about this time for more Marketing Monday segments and have a great day. Thanks everyone.